Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, filed a lawsuit yesterday in a U.S. court on behalf of four Jamaican fishermen who were detained by U.S. Coast Guards nearly two years ago on suspicion of being involved in drug smuggling. The lawsuit says the agency accused innocent men of drug smuggling, chained them to decks, and sailed with them straight into a hurricane. We have more in this report. It was a first thought the fishermen were lost at sea. Their families had given up on them, but little did they know the four men who set out for a two-day fishing excursion on September 13, 2017, were undergoing one of the worst ordeals in their lives. Kidnapped and abused by U.S. Coast Guards for over a month, according to the lawsuit filed on their behalf, the men document their ordeal on the ACLU's Twitter handle. The plan was to go fishing, but things didn't go as planned, you know? What didn't go as planned, according to the fishermen, is that a storm blew their boat off course. The men, Robert Ware, Patrick Ferguson, Luther Patterson, and David Williams, say it was then that they were picked up by a U.S. Coast Guard vessel just off the coast of Haiti a day later, and taken to Puerto Rico at about the same time Hurricane Maria was pounding that island. They say despite telling the U.S. Coast Guards that they were from Jamaica and were lost, and even provided ID and registration documents, they were held in secret, denied access to shelter, basic sanitation, proper food and medical care. All the time we chain, every boat we go on, as they switch it over, they chain us. And they just give us cold food every day. Slimy, it's not good. You in the elements, the sun, the rain, the dew. Sun come burn you, rain come wet you. That boat we was on it during the hurricane. Clothes wet, the bed stuff they give us get wet. We were treating like we are garbage. We're not qualified to come inside. Five weeks later, according to the lawsuit, the men re-emerged in Miami, Florida, covered in burns and blisters. The ACLU said when they were taken to a Florida court, the men pleaded guilty to lying to investigators on the instruction of their attorney because, according to the suit, they were told it was the fastest way to get home, but they still faced 10 months in a U.S. prison before being deported to Jamaica late last year. The men now live with the psychological impact. Everything was right. It come like I, I just lo lose my mind completely. Everything was just... It made me feel like sometimes I will jump overboard too. Enough time I think about jumping overseas and just forget about life. But sometimes I think back on my kids them. I just try to stay strong. The ACLU in its lawsuit says the men were ensnared under what it says was the U.S. Coast Guard's unlawful detention and mistreatment policy that was ramped up in 2012 as part of the U.S.'s war on drugs. The lawsuit added that the U.S. officers wrongly suspected the boat and its crew were involved in trafficking drugs and dispatched four armed Coast Guard officers in a high-powered speedboat to stop board and search the vessel and those on it. A report in the international edition of the Guardian newspaper says the U.S. Coast Guard disclosed in a statement that the men were detained because its staff observed the crew of the vessel jettisoning numerous packages of marijuana, some of which it recovered from the sea. The men were never convicted of a drug crime since the ACLU says no drugs were ever found on the boat. You know, we're not guilty or nothing. And they lock us up and laugh fully. And charge us and laugh fully. Dashan Hendricks, TVJ News.